If you're built like the size of a linebacker, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But I'm just gonna do a quick overview of the Farley. I posted this thing on my Instagram and I had people asking questions about it. Um, I'm not gonna go into every detail of every component. <clears throat> There's 20 million videos like that. I'm just gonna tell you what it's like to ride the thing if you're a larger dude, person, whatever. Um, I've been riding full suspension bikes since they really started to come out in the 90s. You know, that ProFlex Animal. I remember uh, hitting up the bike dealer and it's like, dude, you got to go jump this thing off the loading dock. And then I jumped it off the loading dock and I'm like, that's cool. And then I started to pedal and it just bobbed like crazy, right? And it sucked all the energy out. But then every year, full suspension got better and it got better and it got better. Except if you're a Clydesdale. You know, if you're a larger person, I still like my hardtails. They they don't seem to rob me as, as much energy from me, but I've always been looking for that solution um, to where I could get some suspension, but not feeling robbed all the time. So I figured I'd try this out. And this kind of hit home. Like, this isn't going to be a single track blazer. This isn't your race bike. But... If you feel like you want to go hit some trails and not just get robbed of energy or have that excessive bob or you're looking for that fork with a lockout because you're tired of it, what I was able to do with this is hit the rear tire at maybe 8.5, 9, 10 PSI, front side maybe 7.5, 8, and it was good enough to where I don't have a tremendous amount of rolling resistance but it's got just enough bob in the tire to soak up a lot of the bumps and whatnot. Not going to beat a good front fork. It's not going to beat a full suspension in terms of eating up bumps, but I found I'm able to go for a ride and not feel like I'm getting zapped. Um, I hate that feeling of riding on um, low tires. And look, not everyone out there is a race junkie. You know, I got a friend that's 150 pounds. He's got like a 21 pound bike and the dude can ride two days straight and not stop. I'm too big for that shit. So I want to go hit the trails, have some fun, not get too beat up. This seems to be the bike for me. I still have a hardtail that if I want to go hit those, those uh, single tracks, got my lockout fork if I want to use it or not. I want to go a little faster, I want to race, I want to time myself, I got that bike for that. This bike is, I want to have fun, I don't want to get too beat up. Um, this is getting it done right now. I also ride on a lot of gravel roads that have really loose dirt and sand, and I'm sure all of you at some point have made that turn and the bike just gets sucked out from under you. What I really like about these tires is, you know, I screwed around it on snow. It's pretty slick. Not slick as in slick, as in pretty cool. But on the gravel side, I feel a lot more comfortable taking turns if I got to dodge a car because people drive like assholes. These things give me that um, width on the ground to make some moves and not have the whole bike slide out from under me. So if you ride a lot of gravel, sandy roads, loose pack type of stuff, this is another benefit to this bike. Um, you know, pedal-wise, someone asked me why I don't have, you know, clips. You know, I, I, I'm tooling around on this thing. Sometimes I get home, I, I got my tent, I'm jumping on the bike and I'm going race face. I, you know, they're not quite meat cleavers, but the old school meat cleavers, if you rode BMX bikes where, you know, the thing flips around and turns your shins into raw beef. I like these things. Get some flat bottom shoes. It's just a really quick get up and go bike, right? It's uh, I'm not putting my race suit on and going and trying to do some single track. It's just gonna have fun on the dirt roads, some local trails. Um, not that enjoyable on pavement. I mean, these things obviously not meant to do 50 miles a day on, but again, get those tires pumped up. Depending on your weight, right? You gotta test it. 8 to 10 pounds in the rear, go a little lighter on the front so you got a little spring. That's about the best way to go. Um, they say a medium's like 31 pounds. I'm guessing this thing's probably in a large 32, 32 and a half pounds. Um, 
obviously I'm a bigger dude. I ain't that worried about counting weight. Um, I need to eat a couple less cheeseburgers if I, if I want to drop a couple pounds on the bike. Um, high center of gravity, that's one thing I, I do notice. Um, but other than that, that's all I got. If you have any questions, drop a comment. You can follow me on Instagram at jamesphillip313.